Posing in group photos is really a life skill you need in 2019. Okay, maybe that's a little dramatic, but now more than ever, people always want to take photos, and it is kind of awkward if you don't know how to pose in group photos. It can look and feel really awkward. Trust me, I've been there, but today we're gonna go over a few tips to make it less awkward to pose in group photos. The first tip is to try and be in the middle of the photo. Because then you don't even have to worry about what your arms are doing. They have to, so it's like impossible to look awkward if you're in the middle. But really, note how when I'm in the middle, I don't have to do anything at all with my arms. There's just no way that you can mess this up. If you can't be in the middle, what I usually do is hold on to something like the bag that I'm wearing, a cup of coffee, or you can always put a hand on your hip. Another tip is to make sure you avoid the dreaded hover hand. This is the most awkward looking thing in photos, like this is the worst. So when you're taking a photo with one other person, be sure to actually have your hand on them so it's not awkwardly just hanging in the air. Another tip is to get closer. Almost all the time, we tend to leave more space than is needed for photos and it looks awkward and like you don't really like that person very much. It's probably not gonna feel that natural, but you always wanna stand closer closer than you think you should for it to look normal. Here's a very exaggerated version of standing too far, and here you can see it looks a lot better. Now we'll go over some actual pose ideas. A good one for two people is to have each person pointing in a slightly different direction and then grab your sunglasses. I always recommend taking a burst of photos and move slightly in each shot so you're able to get the shot that you really, really like. Having the legs going in different directions gives it a cool leading line to the photo and grabbing your sunglasses just makes it so you have something to do with your hands and you don't feel awkward while you're taking the photo. Here's another one for two or three people just get some bubble gum and blow a bubble. The bubble gum just makes it look really nonchalant and has a nostalgic and sort of summery feel to the photo. It does take a while to get the timing right on this one. Another pose idea for two people is to have each person holding one arm up in the air. With this pose, it looks best to do a really wide shot and it looks cool if you're at like a music festival, some kind of monument, or you're traveling. And my favorite thing to do if I'm the photographer and I'm posing a group of three three or four people for a photo is have them walk forward and fake laugh or real laugh, but most people are gonna fake laugh. People always feel a little uncomfortable doing this, but if you take a burst of photos, you get a really nice looking candid photo that you just, you can't pose. Like you really can't fake walking forward cause it looks sort of awkward. So this is a great one if you're the photographer posing people or if you and a group of friends want some photos. Also, if you guys wanna learn more about photography in general, I recommend Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare, and if you guys have never heard of Skillshare, it's an online learning community for creators. It has more than 25,000 classes in design, business, photography, and more. As you can see, they have a ton of different classes for photography. I recommend this iPhone photography course because it'll teach you the basics and how to shoot better composition. So I actually have had a Skillshare membership for a while that I pay for myself. The ones that I do are on coding and design. I find the Skillshare courses are just so much more extensive and actually teach you something than tutorials that you find elsewhere on the internet. That's why I like it and I think it's worth paying for. It's $10 a month, so it's really not like a crazy amount. So if you guys want a two month free trial, I will link that down below. Go check it out because that is an amazing deal. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any other tips on how to pose in group photos. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.